So if you haven't seen either the room one or the room two, they are kind of escape room like games. You solve puzzles in this weird kind of creepy, mysterious type room. And you have to use the context clues and the items you find to put together to get out. And there's this kind of arcing story about magic and mystery. We'll have to figure that out. We're on a train. Click and drag to look around. Double click on the journal to focus on it. Click and drag to open the journal. AS is gone. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather I was insane and that these infernal boxes were about a figment of my fevered mind. Okay, so the dude's haunted by the crazy stuff that's been going on. Like I said, there's been some spooky stuff happening. And continuing to happen. Hints oh my god. Uh, that actually might have been the creepiest thing yet. Why did the... <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, got a key. Small key. Hints are on. Uh, but I hope to not use it. Or not have to use it. I should get my eyepiece from the suitcase. Double click on the suitcase. Slide latches. Let's open them. You can do it. Your suitcase has modifications. You require a degree of secrecy. Swing this. Can I grab this at all? Does that let me? Thank you. <laughs> I had to zoom in to interact with it. Click to wear the eyepiece. So the eyepiece lets you see the magic markings. And then should use the eyepiece on the box. Let's. Oh, geez. Can I move these? I can move these. This in here. That there. That there. Now it's got a keyhole. Do I need to zoom in again? What? Have a good night, Hotet. <laughs> Pretty normal. Engraved pyramid. Probably gonna examine the pyramid. I had to imagine. This whole game is such a weird, spooky dream. Where am I? I didn't even get to examine the pyramid. You can look at these objects up close and maybe manipulate them, but I'm sure I'll find a spot for it. A dude. Is this the first alive dude we've seen in this game? It actually might be. All right, looks like we have entered a room with a puzzle box. So let's see. The power of flight, the well of knowledge, the poor have me, the rich need me. My face is, oh, so rith riddles. I'm bad at riddles. All right, some things I can't act or to grab right now. The poor have me, the rich need me. So let me look at these. Which of these solves real the best? The chalice? Oh, it actually might be nothing, huh? It makes probably more sense than anything else I see here. My face is silent without my hands. All right, let me go here. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. Oh, the pen. Flight? Oh, because it's a feather. All right, so we got a box inside the box. Let's open it, huh? Some sort of mechanism keeping it closed. I'm surprised it's still... Ah, whatever. A lens for our eyepiece, hopefully. For the super eyepiece. There's something strange on this door. Double click on the keyhole. All right, so we're lock picking basically. I want the, uh, yes, these things to match up. So just rotate, I guess, until they both happen. Nothing too shabby. That looks pretty good. How are we lock picking with our eyes? Out of all the things in this game, this might be one of the more normal things. I mean, this lens is powerful. It's the eye pick. All right, here we go. What the hell was the dude setting up here? Can I not open this? The key to the null will be forged here. I've given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. So we got a free piece of the null element, and then we have to find more. Oh, so you mean this thing? Relax. Take it easy. Yo, calm down, calm down. 
You don't want to summon anything weird, do you? So I guess I'm looking for more of those. Rat, snake, an emblem. All right, uh, let's look around. Maybe this will reveal something. That's what's happening. So an emblem that goes here. More emblems. Wait, I can zoom in on a lot of these. Oh, these, okay. I have to put in the one that is a combination. So that's a combination. And then I need like an owl. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Halfway done. And now you, rat. There's no white. I think, yeah, that one's better. There it is. I don't need the hint. Yeah, the hints are on in case, like, there's a moment where I just can't find an object. But so far, we've been doing all right at finding things. There's more. There are so many rooms. It's almost like this is a game about rooms. Well, is this place I have to find a way out? Like, holy crap, machinery? Photography thing? I don't even know where to begin with this. Minus to plus to minus. So we got minus to plus to minus to plus. And then that, plus to minus, and then let me try this instead. Plus to minus, minus to plus, that should do it. They make everything in this so dramatic. Listen, I'm all for it. Not even complaining. I just find it funny. Alright, so, four switches. I guess I'll just flip them all on. What's this thing? Alright, let's try to match the wave, I guess. Alright, so the frequency is pretty close. Now we just need the... Height? Is that wavelength? I actually don't remember my stuff that well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. beam <laughs> amplitude. That's thank you. I'm glad you guys remembered. Making up for my total forget for, forget forgetfulness of high school science classes. Maybe math. I don't even remember when I used it. Oh, geez. Okay. Whatever the hell this thing is, looks like an easy start to open. A wooden gear. Is it wooden gear with also a circular hole in it? Maybe here. Maybe I should put on the eyepiece for this? No, okay. I'm gonna just rotate it a bunch. Cool. A castle. Holy crap. What? <laughs> Jesus. What's this thing here? Yeah, there is something strange about that g doorway. There's freaking confetti coming out of it. Eyepiece time. You can go in the doorway. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Why is the tutorial still happening? Tiny room. What is the deal with this? I assume these rotate. Snick. Looks like we're supposed to put something in there. Unless. A magnet. What is a magnet? Is I got a plus slash X on one side. The table has that same indentation. Let me zoom out. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Maybe it goes in somewhere out here. I mean, I guess I could consider that. I might click on the hint so it tells me where this goes, but I guess I do want to search around a little first. Do I though? Do I really want to search around? Device on the bookshelf. Bookshelf. Ah, the name of this tower will reveal the way. So, each of these control the, uh, tilting things. Huh? I don't know why that happened. 
I'm going to leave that be right now because I feel like I need a four-letter code. I can't just brute force that. I need a code somewhere. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I can't do that, but you know exactly what that is. I still haven't found it. Oh, wait, is this circular? Not quite. Um, it is a circle, though. Yeah, something's missing. Eventually, I'll find something for you. Oh, I can go here. I found another place to move to. The pyre! Well, that's probably the word. So let's do pyre. So we gotta do this. And then... Nope. So what happens if multiple things are pointing to it, we change that letter, which is very cool. So here's what I'm thinking then. We tilt this up and we tilt that down so the Y gets hit. This one here and that one up for R and E going left. Pyre. A carved wooden arch. Obviously for our castle. What about this area? It's like a dock, basically. What about these? Oh, what is this? I haven't even noticed this before. Oh, rotate if you had something to place in the socket. There we go. <laughs> Another doorway. Oh my god. We are in. Everything has become bigger. What are you? What did you just do? Well, it seemed important. What, am I just gonna turn all these on? There's an hourglass. There's that symbol. There's then another one here. Then there's this. Oh, what the? Oh my God, it's the witness. <laughs> all right, let's draw one of these symbols. All right, one third. Hourglass time. It's the freaking witness, dude. Draw the lines. A little bit easier than the witness, but you know. I do miss the witness. There should be a witness too, but Jonathan Blow would never do such a thing. Well. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's look at the eyepiece. We can see the rock on the inside. Can I interact with this at all? You would think I'd be able to. Oh, something's got to fit there. Wait, cross shape? No. Even though this is cross pit shape. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that does make... That does work. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we have one of them. I would like the second. Well, I'm sure there's things we can interact with. How about this? Oh, geez. Mmm. So I need a combination of symbols? But wait, there's this thing in here. This. Was that the same thing as over here? It was. So I can't actually do it until I get the other circle. Well, there's this and then there's something below. And he has a special kind of key for this door. There is so much to do here. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, well, here's two symbols. The S and the 60 degree angle. A clock face. Could go on the uh, castle. Okay, so what I need to do is go here. That looks correct, right? Is this one and that one? Well, it didn't do anything. All right, let's look for more things. What about this? Oh, shh. Okay. There's a compass. Very poorly made compass. Okay, I'm starting to understand now. Uh, let's keep rotating this so we can hook up the Norse. There we go, compass time. Wooden model piece. Wait, this goes... Oh, I know where that goes. I know exactly where that goes. Dude, I don't want to stop playing this. I actually want to play this for the rest of the night. I just want to play this for the rest of the night. I don't even want to do the rest of the games on the shit show. It looks like I'm just not doing anything. I've tried clicking and moving stuff about, but I need to put something on here is the idea. I have the clock face. I could figure that out. Like, you know, on here. There we go. Oh, another one of these. There's an owl. Model boat. Model. Oh, probably goes on the thing. It's right here. Perfect. Put the boat on the thing. Rotate the boat. Bring it into the docks. So many doors in here. This room is so involved. Uh, there's a rat. We're going to break your neck too? 
Oh god. Okay, those opened. I can press that and that. What is this mechanism? It's a key! Jesus, have we had a keyhole? It's been so long since we had a normal freaking key. The only thing I have is the key. I'm tempted to take the hint. I really am. I probably missed it. I'm just gonna take the hint. What? Apart from the table and the bookshelf. <gasps> nah, that's not necessary. Oh, there's pyre on the ground as well. Another place to find pyre. A sphere su suspended in a cradle. Jeez. So if I spin this really fast, it should open. Uh, just keep spinning. Keep spinning. Did it click? Oh, it's a magnet! The other magnet, also with a cross on the back. Let's go. We know exactly where that goes. And we even know how to solve this puzzle. So there's uh, some lines and stuff. We have to move these. At least I imagine we have to move these things. How am I... Oh, I see. You're supposed to move them like this. Interesting. Well, anyways, what I'm supposed to do is I go over here. I look at this thing I've set up because what can happen is I have this in here. So top, middle, and then a zigzag. This is one weird machine. Okay, what if it's here? Yeah, okay, I see it now. I see it. And then what if moving back comes here and then moving here goes here and then wait for it, all the way up top? That should be it. Huh? Wait a second. I only halfway did it? There's another solution? So I need to find another two combinations of symbols then. Oh, found it. There it is. So spiral and fish. So spiral and fish. There we go. All right, so top and then right, right, left. So what I gotta do is bring that here, send that over, and then, and then bring this up. Perfect. Nice. Can't believe how much we've been getting done in the 40 minutes we've had allotted to us. How big is this game? A wooden model piece. Hey, look, a keyhole. Maybe at the- Oh, I know where I have to do with this. I have to place it down and I ex know exactly where. I thought I could place that down here, but I guess not. There's probably like another indentation for it that's out here on the big table. Like here, for example. And then we place it down and then we place the key or, you know, unlock that stuff. I am mean, like, it's cool. Dude, this is the perfect late night game, though. It's chill. It's satisfying. It's not too overly difficult. And the commentary just kind of makes itself. Damn, like, look at that. What a cool animation. The team of animators here got to just be working crazy overtime. And then I have the key for it. So let's maybe start exploring some of the new stuff. The diver's helmet. Nothing I can necessarily grab on it. I thought I could maybe pull it off or twist it off or something. There's a drawer on the side we could check out. Twitch remove pog champ. I know. It seems like how I'm understanding it is the pog champ is a temporary removement because I just wanted to act fast. If I had to guess, they're probably going to bring back pog champ, but just with a totally different face. At least that's what I'm hoping it happens because I don't want to have to say like, dick champ or you know whatever the new pog champ saying is hopefully it's just a new face because they replaced it because of the actual face itself yeah I, I should just click everywhere i might look at the hint just because i haven't seen anything else to do but i haven't fully explored the whole antler thing so i'm just kind of taking my time yeah this is some sort of handle should go here like an antler all right well unfortunately no i could look at this thing wasn't there like a keyhole on here i swear i remember seeing it I had a keyhole here, but I didn't actually use it. So let's try this. Ah, and another one of these things where we can go inside a tiny object. We are small. Oh, but now there's a miniature version of the table inside the table. Recursion, baby. All right, what's the deal with this? This is flapped open. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to go in again. Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> and another one. Oh, wait. So now we have to put on his foot. As we do. And we go in again. How deep does the rabbit hole go? 
That's it's back. We put on the hand. Oh my god. Another one. Oh, he finally moves. Congratulations, you're gonna put this on. Make the big tower. Are, are we saved from the recursive curse, if you will? Oh boy. Ah, we're saved. We got a new tower. Obviously, with an antler spot on top. Seems natural. Obviously for an antler. I gotta stop trying to make the antler happen, but it's like some sort of long egg needs to go in there. Okay, no, I'm just gonna take the hint. I think I've looked everywhere. If there's like something just physically I missed, I hope this points me in the right direction. I should investigate the diving helmet. Already did. All right, well, all right. Clearly there was something on the helmet or at least near the helmet that I may have missed. So I guess I'll take a closer look around this area, maybe putting this eyepiece on. I even might take hint number two, which would be the first time for me in this game. Here we go. One of the wing nuts on the diving helmet looks different from the others. Oh, like this. Here we are. We found it. Tiny little thing, but there it is. We've done it. And a small brass rivet. You could have told me it was a mushroom and I would have believed you. All right, so here's some symbols it looks like. Um, oh, to keep those symbols in mind, I don't remember if there's been any other symbols. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see a rivet hole. Although admittedly, I didn't look that close, but it's just a tiny little circular hole. Oh, how about up here? There we go. Found it. Yeah, tiny stuff. Don't really feel ashamed at all about taking a while. A metal acorn, that goes in the tower, 100%. But let's do maybe this first. Flip a switch, see what happens. Oh god, there's a dial? No, a wooden model piece, I know where that goes. That definitely goes on the table. Oh, and then we probably have to put a dial here. Motherfucker. Oh, look at this. These are the symbols that are on the front of the thing. So once we get a dial, we can actually solve this puzzle. Uh, let's actually, let's start with the big scale thing. Let's put this in here. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Maybe an antler goes on here. I, I just can't wait until I find the antler thing. Uh, looks like this moves about. I'll put it on the circle. Like that. That opens inside. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go in. Not looking forward to more recursion. No, it's just the simple bug. A little grasshopper, it looks like. So everything that's golden can kind of move. Oh, open that up. What's inside? A metal pointer. Maybe for that puzzle on the diving helmet. All right, so we put the pointer on here, and then I need to find the code again. Whoa. So this is what rotates it? Oh, that's super cool. All right, so here's the code. I don't know what to call it. The quotation marks, the checkerboard, three boobs. Quotation mark, checkerboard pattern, and what do we got? Whoa. A copper tap. Wait, doesn't that go on the helmet, actually? Like here? The handle? Because I saw the triangle thing and thought that was kind of familiar. Oh, I don't like this angle at which I'm at. There we go. All right. Do we open this finally? We can rotate it. And do we open up the helmet? If there is a head inside this helmet, I swear. Right? I should be able to open this. That's true. Maybe I'll just have to zoom in. Okay, good call, good call. It was how it worked. The zooming in always gets me. Holy shit. Don't do me like that. Come on. <laughs> A crystal file. Well, I did call it. We have actually two things I could fit in here, technically. Let's try the acorn first. No, let's try this thing. Neither fit. Oh, it's some way of illuminating. It's a lamp? Okay, so these don't light up, which means that, what the? The acorn is actually a key. I'll have to look out for something like this kind of pattern. Like this was the most involved area to zoom in. So maybe there's like an acorn hole in here. Maybe this is an acorn hole. 
You need a special kind of key, like an acorn. We've done it! And it's by a tree, so it's only fitting. Okay, good thing I went back in here. It's not done after all. <gasps> it's a thing that's missing an antler. Everything's coming together now. This rotates. Yo, are we supposed to make a match, maybe? Like, try to make it have symmetry? Let's try to do symmetrical stuff. Like that. There's even more to this tiny section. What's in the gap? Oh, hey, look, it's the thing that I'm holding right now. Wow, three items just like that. Blood. A glowing gemstone for the top of the tower. We are plowing through it now. Everything has just been answered right now. Probably. Yep. The lamp is on. We have a lamp ourselves. Uh-oh. Please don't tell me it's gonna get dark. A brand new thing comes down from the sky. Beautiful. Looks like we have a new object in a cage. I kind of want to examine the cage itself first, if possible. Nope, it's just gonna take me in here. Maybe we're in like an elevator. Yep, that's us, we're in an elevator. Well, off we go. Oh boy. Yeah, scuba cage. I mean, fitting. They're good at the theming. Dude, we're at the top of the tower. We can see the outside world. How sick is that? Wait a second. I wonder if this is supposed to be... Oh my god, I wonder if it is. This is probably supposed to be what was on the table. That castle, that clock. We're in the tower. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the mini area. This is a big version of what we were just looking at. Looks like I can't move much. I should probably just go in. But I want to examine my options. This looks movable. Oh, I see now. Oh, it does zoom in. Now I can put this in. No? I mean, I, I feel like I should be able to spin this. It makes at least... Oh, we are able to spin it. We figured it out. Maybe match the uh, patterns of the gates. That's the idea. So, like, this gate matches. And, okay, these gates match. Well, so the gates match, which means... Oh, I figured it out. Now we can actually access the inside. And now we can put in our lamp. That was weird. <laughs> uh, it's still fine. I felt a little silly with trying to rotate some of the things. And it's another null element. Do we go back? We found number two. There's the castle. Chapter complete! Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat. Though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. Alright, so we've got a chapter done.